Hello. <laughs> It's really funky. It is, it is. Rachel and I have been dancing. Oh, funky. <laughs> Don't know what we were saying. Hey, Kavita. Oh, dear. I absolutely love it. <laughs> I could stop giggling too. Hello. I've got to get Facebook up now so I can see who's who. Oh, I got you louder. Do 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 <laughs> Get it out of my head now, I'm like, it's crazy. Craziness. Us Tracy Rogers has said hi, ladies. Ah, oh, hi, Tracy. Hi, Penny. And, uh, congratulations, isn't it, to Tracy as well? She's, she's won an award. Really? Yeah, card maker of the year, isn't it? Oh, wow. Is it something? Oh, my God. Oh, it's amazing. Mm. Yeah. I might be dreaming, but I'm sure she did. I'm sure she did. I think that link works. That's if you want, because um, it comes up for us Facebook user. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. It's funny, isn't it? It's weird. Yeah. So what are you up to today, Rachel? I'm going to do the um, Lady Vagabond alarm clock, and I'm going to show you how to make it 3D. Ooh. Um, and we're, well, I'm going to make it 3D, and we'll see how we get. I'll, I'll, I will get as far as um, making it 3D. Um, hopefully, we'll get to finish it. But I am on babysitting duty today, and I've left my husband. Um, with my little ferret. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we're we, going to do a quick one, are we? Well, we'll see how long he lasts. We'll see how it's an endurance test for him. So we'll see. How <laughs> <it goes. laughs> okay. Um, for me, um, go. Hi, Marisol. I'm just going to do this box. I think. Oh, in there a while. You know, cheap ones in the works. Mm. So I might play yeah. about with this. And I did, as you can see, I've started to do um, a casting of the bats, oh. the bat moulds. So these are the little ones, and I've only got a few in stock. Oh. So, yes. Oh. No, uh, sure. Sorry, I was talking over you. No, oh, I was talking over you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just excited because I've been curious about what those look like. Yeah, so. I like them. Mm. Very, very nice. Very, very nice indeed. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them but or how I'm going to do it. I've not thought that far ahead. Because I originally thought to do the bee and some sort of bee stuff. Ooh. I think I might save that for another time. Mm. I've got a, a better project to put it on. Hi, Fifi. So that's my thoughts. Ooh. Not I sure think... whether I'm going to go dark or light. Oh, well, you just got to go with it and see what happens, haven't you? Yeah. Go so with it. Oh, I do. There's so many nice little bitty bit bits on this. So I got those two bits. And what I've done is in my, in my group, I've put a little link to a um, circumference calculator to save you trying to remember your maths um 
because I think it's something like it's something like the diameter divided by two times pi, something like that. But there's a there is a calculator that does it all, so you can find out how long a piece of card you need to go all the way around anything circular. So there we go. That's if you want the calculator, you can you know you can always um, just type in circumference um, calculator on Google and you will find it. So I've what I've done is I found my diameter by measuring across at the widest point of the circle which for this is five inches and then i've put all the details in the circumference calculator and found out how long a piece i need which in this case i've got to try and remember now was 15.7 inches i think something like that so I'm going to make some strips of card, which I'm going to use for that. Mm -hmm. This one will do. I don't know if Jess this first does last, but never mind. Maybe I'll just use the cadence. Mm -hmm. Decisions, decisions. Um, it's hell, isn't it? Plenty of gessos uh, on the website anyway. Okay, let me get my T square. My T square ruler. And then I will be able to do this nice and easily. So mm -mm -mm. there we go. Oh hello from Portugal. Hello, Sylvia. Hi Sylvia. And we've got Rihanna as well. Hello, hello. Hi Rihanna. Um. The only thing with grey board is they have grubby things, aren't they, from the laser cutting? Yeah, you end up with black fingers. Yes, <laughs> I have. I have got black fingers. Um, so that enough one. of my the gesso, I end up with loads of that. Oops, my fingers, um, yes, no, this one wants to be about two inches, then because I'm giving an allowance for my little bits that are going to tuck in. So, let me go. So I've cut, I'm cutting strips. I'm cutting one that's two and a half inches wide and one that's two inches wide. And I'm using my T-square ruler because I haven't got a paper trimmer long enough to cut this um, straight. So I need another method and this will allow me to do that. She says with a nice curve at the end. There we go. So I've got all my pieces. And I need to cut. Oh, grubby, grubby. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, that song <laughs> is so planted in my head. Have a nice little view. Um, blame Olga for that. Oh, I feel like I should have my glow stick out. <laughs> Should be raving like a cheesy quaver. Right, there we go. Let's get this bad boy cut. So I've done that. I've got one strip left there that I don't need. And then I'm going to get my T-square ruler again on this and I'm going to measure in a quarter of an inch on either side and I'm going to just mark that out as well. Hi, Claire. Oh, is that lovely, Claire? It is. She is lovely, Claire. So there we go, a quarter of an inch on each side. 
and then I'm going to mark that up with my pencil as well. And don't worry too much about any mess because we're going to gesso over everything anyway. So nobody will ever know. Line that one up. There we go. And then I need to do the other side. Oh, I'm feeling very cack-handed today. I do feel like that most days, but you know what I mean. Well, I normally take the hardware off boxes, but I'm, as we're time limited today, I'm not doing it. Mind you, I was well, time limited last time and didn't do it, so it's going to look as if I'm really lazy now. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can work around it. You can work around it. And my ferret might go to sleep, and if my ferret goes to sleep, then we're, we, you know, we're away. There's no limits for me. I would really like to do this whole project, but I just can't guarantee. So. Did you notice I finished the tray that I, <laughs> I forgot to post last time? Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, tray. Yeah, and I put I because while we were doing the live, I put um, an ivory color on it on the inside, and everyone was going, "No, I prefer the green. I prefer the green." <laughs> so when I um, got back to it and finished it off, I realized, yeah, they're right. The green was better. <laughs> So now I'm just going to go all the way along here, just cutting up to that little quarter inch line that I've drawn. And this is what's going to enable me to 3D my clock. I'm creating a little gusset for it. Do, 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 oh. <laughs> do I don't think I can cope. So, um, what's new in the shop, Leanne? <gasps> what's new? Um, <laughs> the Mayor's Memories will be here this week. Oh, so, wow. those that have uh, pre ordered will find them when they wait to them by the weekend, I hope. Oh, nice. I mean, I can't guarantee when because I've just had the, you know, the um, notification that they've um, they were the courier. Right. So, it's um, fans now. Yes. Then, what else do we have? Um, so I put some old stamp stamperia stuff on on website and as I was putting it on you know it was selling out and then I'd restock it and then it'd sell out and then something else would sell and it was all old stuff so there's a lot of that being restocked on there oh, fantastic. I suppose people can't get um, you know the die cuts and things and the stencils anymore so they're looking for that special one that they've been looking for you know and those, the 12 by 12 stencils, the big stencils, they're, they're um, being discontinued, aren't they? They are. There's only one left. Um, wow. I think I've got two or three in store. Mm. Well, they are fab. I like those big stencils. Hi, Linda. We've only just started. Yes, indeed, Sabine. Hello as well. Um. So, yeah, we're waiting for that. What else have we got new? I've got some more Pentart stuff coming. Um, so, Rachel recommended the uh, Rust Patina and Paint Effects. The yes. Rust Paint Effect and the Patina Paint Effect. So, that's coming in as well. I use it all the time. And then we have... Um, Oh, what else did I put in? 
it, it seems I've put so much on, I forgot where we are with it. <laughs> yeah. Like the generation game, isn't it? There is. Um, mainly because people ask me, oh, are you getting this? Are you getting that? And I'm like, do you want it? Yes, please. So I'll go and get it. You've got new mint, eh, haven't you? Yes. Um, that's some of the older stuff as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've had to do another reorder on that because it sold out again. Oh, so, wow. Yeah. Mamarazzi was very popular. Um, so there are four new um, minty papers, so they are in as well. Is Mamarazzi the one that um, Paul Ford did a tutorial for you with? Yes, yes. Oh, and that's available on YouTube, isn't it? It is, yeah. I think I've left a link in the Mad Archers group for anybody who wants to watch it. I could have a look. Oh. It's very good. He is. Now, I've just completed... Um, how do I know if she's in here or not? Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I'll do a sneak peek of somebody's um, So basically I followed Paul's um, one of Paul's tutorials Oh, this is so beautiful Hi Terry Hi, Terry. Just hope and pray she's not in here. <laughs> oh, so this awesome. is the Blooming Grunge papers. Oh, I follow Paul, Paul's tutorial. One of them, not the same one for the minty paper pocket. So bear in mind, this is only probably the third one I've ever made, so bear with me. It's gorgeous, yeah. Bear with you. It's gorgeous. <laughs> I'm only learning. <laughs> oh, you, you are very talented. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, did you see what Fifi was saying about the Prima effects pastes? Oh, mm. interesting. Now we're gonna, don't tell me I'm going to have to look for them now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you, I tell you. Thank you. Right, so there we go. So you can see I've got my little tabs going over. Now I could cut some little V's in this. If this card was thicker, I would have cut little V's in between the tabs, but it's quite a thin card, which is why I'm reinforcing it with another strip. So I'm not bothered about re um about cutting the V because I don't need to because the card's very thin. So there we go now. Da, will it fit? Will it fit? Will it fit? Oh, it does fit. Oh, happiness. Right. So now I need to stick this in place. That's my next trick. So I'm going to adhere this together with some glue. Give me some glue. Any glue will do. <laughs> Fifi says she's the worst enabler ever. I, I, yeah, I've been called that as well. <laughs> oh, it happens, doesn't it? It happens. What are you going to do? You're terrible, Leanne. <laughs> And now you've got a shop filled with lovely things. So we've all had it, really, haven't we? We've, yeah. We've... And if you don't want it, I'll find a reason for you needing it. Oh. Well, I just want to come and move into your shop. There's not much room. <laughs> <laughs> mm, not at right. all. There we go. So I've got my little circle there ready. 
Lovely. And if any of my customers are watching and they've ordered this weekend, uh, just bear in mind it is a bank holiday Thursday, Friday. So Saturday was the only pickup day. So it's not likely to come to you till Tuesday, Monday, if you're really lucky. Just in case you think I haven't sent it or anything. No, the bank holiday. Well, the post office was open, but no, the post office wasn't picking up, you know, to take it to the sorting office. I know everybody's been celebrating, haven't they? They have indeed. I haven't seen much of it, but I'll tell you what, I did catch um, Diana Ross last night, and I thought it was wonderful. 78-year-old, belting it out. Mm. Mm, very impressive. Mm -hmm. I hope I belt it out when I'm 78. I wish I could sing full stop. <laughs> well, I, I didn't say I could sing. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I knew my limits. I know the reality. All right, so I'm just making sure all my little tabs are in contact with that glue because that's what's going to keep this where I want to keep it. Hello, Marta. So that is one thing that is new because I've been nagged. No, I've been asked. Okay, it was August, so I've been nagged to, <laughs> <laughs> to do the mushroom class again. Oh, yes. Oh, if you haven't done the mushroom class, you're missing out. There's a cinnamon stick in here, and every time I open the box, it smells gorgeous. Oh. Oh. So, in the mushroom class, if anybody's interested, I teach you how to do, make the mushrooms look very realistic. Um, so, there's your funnel, and there's your chanterelle. Mm. A shaggy ink cap or a nose cleaner, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we got field mushrooms. Um, we have inky caps. We have, and I show you how to do all of them. Don't worry. I don't show you how to do that one, but that is a panther mushroom. What else have I got? See, I've used all the little ones. They're hiding. I mean, mm. I'm trying to think where the other so I can show you. Now, um, I might have a project that's gone. Yeah, I was just going to say I've used most of mine. Yeah. So there, there be magic mushrooms. <laughs> um, yeah, see, some of these are not even finished. It's brilliant. How much is the class? Um, fifteen pounds, oh, which works out about seventeen fifteen dollars or euros, I think. Well, that's when you look at that in value for money. Those packs I used to buy, those packs of um resin mushrooms, which are lovely. Don't get me wrong; they're very nice, but they're about seven pound odd a time. And there's only three in there. Yeah, so if you yeah. do this, do your class, that's, that's, a that, that's a rude mushroom, that is. That's a stink hole. It is a real mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Claire, oh. Diana Ross. Oh, she was amazing last night. So, if it, um, I also show you how to do the poppy seed heads. Um it's more like it. There's one half finished. Oh, very nice. Um, and of course, the fly agaric. That was my practice ones. You are such a talented mushroom maker. Oh, 
So that's that one is two weeks um, today, I think. Ooh. Two weeks today. No, so it's not, Claire. It's not rude. It's a mushroom. Called a stink horn. <laughs> maybe it's just us, maybe it's our minds. Exactly. Exactly. We should be ashamed of ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So it'll be about two hours, I think. Um I'm trying to see. If I've got anything, because I've moved all everything in my room. I can't remember what I've put it on. Anyway, if you see any mushrooms on on any of my photograph um, projects, I've made them all myself. Oh no, where did I see John? Seen him yesterday when I was looking. There you are. So I've just put another layer of um, that thin card round um, and put ample adhesive on it to just give it a little bit more rigidity and strength. So that should do that nicely. I can give that a little trim once it's all dry. If I want to. I mean, to be honest, once that's once it's all painted, I think that will probably be fine. But I'm just making sure everything is in place. Now I need some look at the filth there. That's off my grey board, I'm afraid. But it will be okay because I will be, um, what will I be doing? I'll be just in it all so you won't see all of that. So <laughs> make a set of legs as well. So I'm just going to make them from rolled pieces of card. I've got one. I'm watching you now while I'm waiting for my moles to... Oh, I see. <laughs> Crack um, on, get things done, Leanne. Come on, move. <laughs> so I just want to make sure these little legs are the right <laughs> way. You can see I got... Um, I am 93D... And this is a brilliant um, little project. <laughs> Let me just, I'm just checking the height against these back legs because I want to make sure everything is going to fit nicely and I'm not going to have a wonky clock. Hi, Julie. Hi, Marta. <coughs> Let me just get a drink of water. <coughs> I think I saw um, uh, Jill in the house as well. Hi, Jill. So I'm just rolling these up like that and then I'm going to come back in and I'm going to add some adhesive to the whole strip because this will give a really good rigid solid little piece of piece of piece of piece of um, cardboard. Hi Julie. Hola, Marta. So there we go. I've got one there. Oh, I just had a little panic then. I thought I hadn't cut the other one and I'd already rolled that one. Phew. <laughs> it's there. I can't resist messing around with my resin and I should stop it. Stop it. Stop oh, it. you're so bad. I don't know. Do, do, do. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's obsessed with it. I am. I am. I love you. Yeah. 
It's terrible. Right, so we've got some legs we can stick on now. Um, Hi, now Yumiya. Sorry. Sorry, who have we got? I'm just cutting a little mite off. Yulia. Whoops. So that they stick nicely. I don't want to go that way, do I? Yes, you do, Rachel. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Your phone? I'm blaming you entirely. So, the funky, funky theme tune. Yeah. Right. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> it is a bit, uh, a bit. Uh, what's the word? So, uh, shameful. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit shameful is what it is. Oh, oh, any jokes this week? Oh, yeah. that, was, that is funny. <laughs> yes, All right, we're going going for the reds and oranges and a bit of black. Done me feet the wrong way around. But, uh, Maybe a bit of yeah. Hold on. To start. All right, if any of you have not seen me painting before. I get in a mess. Well, I don't care. Well, it washes up. Half of the fun of it, isn't it? Right. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. he's, got, he's got some little leggies now. Now, if I'd actually thought about it, but because it's casual Sunday, we don't think about it. But if I'd thought about it and planned this, I would have um, made some legs like this and I would have slip them in under this um outer ring here so but though you know there are options and that's going to work just fine so i want to do my bell bits 3d next so i'm going to show you how i'm going to use some air dry clay for that so, do, 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 do. Oh, you sing it no i'm not Ooh. Where did I put pretty. the old dry clay, Liam? Uh, pass, ask me one on sport. I might be able to answer. Oh, oh I see it. Well done. Well done, Rachel. Well done. You didn't. I was saying, well done, me then. I was going to do anything. No, no. Well done, me. I'm, I'm congratulating with myself on not hiding the clay from myself. I frequently hide things from myself. Now I've got to take 200 yards of washi tape off it that I've used to seal the packet. Oh, I'm nearly there. Oh, I've been watching um, Stranger Things. Oh, it's a bit scary this season. Mm, I didn't watch it. Oh, it's a bit scary. I, I think I'm the only one. I think you are. It's, I love it. I really love it. And I love a lot of things about it, but it is a bit scary this time. Um, I am getting a bit scared at night. Because <laughs> I'm a simple creature and it doesn't take much to scare me. Yeah, Claire's worried you're going to do a spoiler. No, no, won't say a word. Won't say a word, I promise. Well, not say a word. I like where I live. I don't want to have to leave the country. <laughs> uh, right, so I've got a bit of air dry clay that I'm going to use for these bells to 3D them. And in the grey board, you get these little extra bits to put on your bells. So I'm going to use them as my... Um, templates really to make bell bits. Nope, don't like the pink. 
Can I go over that little red? Do I like it already? <laughs> We're blaming all the. So, just. Yeah, that's plenty of clay for that. It's going to work nicely. So, I'm going to pop some glue to glue my clay in place. Oh, I can't wait to just sew this. It's covered in grubby blooming fingerprints. Yeah, well, these people will know what, what to expect if they ever use it and not used it before. So that's good. Yeah. Well, it's just, it's from the laser cutting is what it is, isn't it? It's um, unfortunately part of the process. So quite like that. I'm going to bring it over a little bit more so I can hear a magpie in my garden. Stop, <laughs> if I'm doing this the entirety of this live, honestly, I do apologize. I really do. It's one of my uh, my favorite birthday presents ever. It's that little folder. It's absolutely brilliant. Right. There go. I'm going to keep that there so I can make sure my other one is similar. Oh, hi, Angela. Hi, Angela. Oh, you can't be late. It's casual Sunday. Yeah. Casual Sunday. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Most people know that, um, you know, acrylics are not the best to blend. You just do what you can with what you got. Probably better with liquid acrylics, in all fairness. I find if you blend, do one, and then you blend the other one in and then go back over again with the original colour, you can get quite a, a nice finish, a nice blend. But yeah. it's, you have to do two or three. Not, yeah, two, no, three. No. Two of the one colour to get the... The blend as you would with a lot of other paints. Right, how's my bells looking? Are they looking even? Change the tune now. <laughs> Trying to desperately trying to change the tune. Right, they're looking. They're looking similar. It would like them to be twins, but oh, it's very quiet down there in my house. Are they oh. both falling asleep? Are they? Well, I'm hoping so, yeah. I hope they've gone to sleep. And that she hasn't just taken over the... It could it, she could have just taken over. She has the tenacity. Longer. And there's one bell. Oh, that's good. Oh, I've dropped a leg. Oh, come back. Naughty thing. Mm. This 
Red looks very pink like. Hmm. Gonna get a bit more. One. I'm going to put a bit of texture on it, I think. Ooh. It looks very orange, but it's, um, it's not quite that orange. Oh, it dropped a leg and it's on the floor. The floor oh, is it's down the black hole. No, the floor is just a very long way away. Oh, but I got it. Right, let's put a bit more glue on these. I'm almost tempted to get me UV resin out to set these. <laughs> right, so we've got we've got a body, we've got bells. Just tidying those up so they're yeah, I want them. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Not gonna let myself sing it. Oh, I keep going. <laughs> no, no, Rachel. No, not happening. Right, looking good. Looking good. Just smooth that out a little bit. And then I did see, oh, and we've still got loads of bits and bobs that we can put in here. Oh, it's exciting. Right, now, where did I see the clangy bit there? So we've got another little just this is just for the clangy clangy thing at the top that bangs the bangers. yeah well, i used to love the clangers they're still mm -hmm. going <laughs> they are still going are they yeah yeah they've they've yeah they've got up-to-date clangers now mm -hmm. i know yeah Right, bell's done, leg's done. Right, it's gesso time. Yeah, that's a bit of a mess, mind Rachel. We can't even pretend it's not. Let's tidy that up. There we go. When it's tidy, it's crystal. Oh, Buenos Tardes. Oh. Right, let's get my newly found favourite gesso. Which is I am something I'm blaming you for. It's Ooh. such a good gesso and it's really good for um, the you know the um mold casts it's really you don't lose any of the detail because it's just it's thin but it's got brilliant coverage it's mad it's the best. who gets excited about gesso oh me <laughs> so. <coughs> right sorry i'm just Drew my clay back up with twenty yards of washi tape. Right. Let's do some painting. So I could have used black card actually. That would have been a good move, wouldn't it? But I didn't, so that means we're going in with the paintbrush. Oh, this is going to be such a nice little display case for something. This is what happens when you use a dirty brush, Liam. 
Oh, what have you done? No. There you go. Blend that back in. <laughs> it's vintage. It's vintage. You know, Claire's a little bit of it as well. Mm. Oh, it's just the best, Claire. Um, I, I've used a few different gessos, which I have thought were very, very good. And they are very, very good. But this doesn't lose, you know, it's just, oh, it's just, it's very good. I think I need a red on there, a red red, because that's too pinky. A red red? Yeah, so the crimson's too pinky for me. Mm. What paints are you using? Um, bit of a mixture. Well, ma mainly the Cadence hybrids, but um, the one I want is in the Allegro and it's downstairs and I'm not going down to get it. Oh, no, that's ridiculous. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you could Please do a do. system, couldn't you? So you can, so you know, dumb waiter or something. So you can just shout down and they oh, can what you need. So I have been going through my paints and I've noticed that some of the ones that I don't use anymore are going a bit. Duh. Yeah, they will do. So might as well use those up. Mm. No, it's important we spend all our money on these things. It's important to use them. There we go. There you go. not too worried about that i'm still a little bit bumpy there but i'm gonna make this all rusty anyway so it's not like it's gonna be terribly noticeable it's just me being a fuss pot Is anybody crafting along? Is anybody else being creative on Sunday afternoon? And this is a Pebio brand and it's absolutely brilliant. It's got excellent coverage, as you can see from what I'm doing. But it's very thin, so when you use it on mould casts, you don't lose some of the finer detail, which when I've used some um, gessos in the past, even though they're very, they're very, very good gessos, they're just, they're a little bit too thick and you lose some of the finer detail, which is never what you want to happen. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is so good. I can't wait to fill it with things. <laughs> oh, I do love a, a, a substrate that you can put things in. Yeah, I tend to do most of mine on something I can use or oh if they're practical it's even better isn't it now who was it who said that the things should be beautiful and practical oh was it Picasso I'm not sure no no oh you're branching very nice 
because I knew we were doing this, I was I did get my dinner prepped. Yeah, I've had my dinner. I didn't eat it. Oh, I my did. belly starts rumbling. Sorry. No, I'm too weak if I don't eat. <laughs> I can't cope. No. no you. I start panicking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. Look at this clock. It's catching. If you can see it against the black of the. Ooh. But, um, yeah, that's coming along nicely. We're going to rust it in a minute. Oh, thank you, Diana. Oh, no, I don't want that. Oh, well, I hope we've uh, inspired you to do something, Claire, or made you feel guilty. I'm not quite sure which it would be. Oh, crepe paper peer. Your flowers, Tracy, are outrageous. They're so good. They are so good. You're going to hate me, but I threw out a load last week with crepe paper. I what thought I'd you? never ever use it. See? Oh, no. Oh, Leanne. I know, I know. Oh, no. I I, I'm getting less and less room in my, my craft room. I know, I know. I know, you've got to be ruthless. I've got to get ruthless. I've got to, I'm going to have to have a de-stash, I think. Yeah. I mean, so, some of my customers will find some spare stuff in their uh, boxes, and it's because, you know, I've got a little pile downstairs that I kind of say, right, okay, they can have that, they can have that. <laughs> <laughs> it's out of my personal stash, but still, it doesn't go to waste. And, I, if you know, I can see what they're buying, and it's like, oh, okay then so they like that kind of stuff i wonder what they think about this and they can have that mm. no it's very good oops i'm saying i do it every single time because i've been no, and i've but... nothing left in my craft room <laughs> but uh, yeah but if you find a little added extra it's not a mistake it's a yeah a little gift yeah Right, I think there's only so much room in my craft room. Absolutely. Right. And I think you don't think when you don't use stuff for a long time, like I've got a lot of card making stuff, the oh. amount of cards I make now, you know, it doesn't warrant all this in my room. Oh, wow, you're lucky. I can't, I can't imagine being able to get away with not making a card for anybody. No, it's not so much that I can't or don't want to or don't make a card. I just, I have more, um, more of that than anything else. Ah, um, see, that makes sense. Right, come here, you. Let's have you. I don't like bending over. Right. Right, I need to do a little... Oh, look, that naughty little leg. Get back up. Oh, I got beef and Yorkshire pudding for dinner. Uh, and I said it was William Morris, not um, whoever you thought it might be, Rachel. Oh, what's what? Oh, come on now, little dryer. Don't be doing stuttering. I was going to um, paint 
the bat, but I, c I can't be bothered to use the gesso right now. <laughs> so I'm going to alcohol ink them instead. All right, Right. Well, I don't know what's on this brush, but it doesn't like uh, the alcohol ink, so that's for sure. Ah, William Morris. Thanks, Angela. Thank you. I knew it was somebody. <laughs> it's always somebody, isn't it? But I couldn't remember who it was. Yes, beautiful and practical. I have to say, I do agree. It is nice that things are beautiful and practical. Right, I think I just want this dry enough. I can do some more things to it. I've noticed I'm in a shop. I have less time to use my stuff now than ever. Well, so good. So it's quite good these casual Sundays, so I can actually do projects yeah oh, i love like got my DC stuff as well and I'm, you know i gotta be careful with that but... this leg is so cheeky right it's in all oh, you little i will not swear right move it well it's there there, right, so now I'm going to hope that that leg behaves itself and I'm going to start using, I'll tell you what, I'm going to use that, um, the rust effects paint set so you can, if you haven't seen me use it before, which a lot of people have because I use it a lot, but if you haven't seen, you can see now. So, oh. Because I'm going to paint my clock rusty. Right. So it's basically four little things of paint and a 3D powder. Um, but they do last forever. They are very, very good. I mean, I do a lot with them and they're still going strong. So that's how long they last. So we'll get some nice diarrhea yellow. Oh, it's a disgusting colour. It's actually ochre, is what it is, but it's ooh. Oh. And then I'm just adding What's my three. What's going on? I'm getting messy. Adding some 3D powder to that. And then I'm going to get a brush. I want a bigger brush than that. Let's have that one. Let's have some water. And I'm going to just mix that 3D powder into that yellow. <laughs> What's that? I'm trying to get you bigger so that you can... <laughs> Why are you making me bigger? Don't make me bigger. You've shown the rust effect. I want people to see oh, you. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> so I'm just now... I including me? Because I'm not using Oh, right. Okay. Well, I'm just popping this yellow. And you can see it's got some texture to the paste because we've put that 3D powder in there and we're just painting it around. I mean it is a really oh gosh you look at this and you think really but you gotta stick with it and it'll be okay I'm gonna put a little bit in there as well But I think that's that's just mixed media, isn't it? You've just got to stick with it and it'll be okay. Oh. 
Ooh. Just being a bit gentle with that dodgy leg I've got there. There we go. Fabulous. That's too small for everybody. What, what? Oh, there we are. That's close. Yeah. That's better. I thought there was something wrong there. No, there's nothing wrong. So I'm just going to dry this layer. So I'm just going over the edge with a bit of black uh, acrylic paint. So I wasn't sure if I liked that long beyond, but now I'm seeing it. Yeah. <sighs> it's another one on my list. <laughs> oh, Rachel. Well, this is the paint that got me last time. I forgot I'd taken the little top off it. I absolutely covered myself in it last time. Right, let's keep it all in one place so that we don't have any accidents today. But, um, that is user error, not product error. And so you start basically, if you remember, you go in light to dark. And you can change the, fe the effects depending on um, drying between layers and spraying water spray and things like that. Um, so if you feel that you're getting too much of a... Um, oh, how would I describe it? Too much of a block of colour... You can just use your water spray and disperse it a bit and get a nice blend going on. That kind of malarkey. Hello, Erica. Hola. I wish I wish my Spanish would extend a little more, but it I go as far as to say how are you and that's about it. Yeah. We'll, we'll not be down that road. No, I need to I want to practice my Spanish. So I did that um Duolingo thing. That's quite good. All right, so we've got that colour done. Now I'm going to wipe this because I've got quite a lot of paint there. Right, they've turned out quite a bit now. <laughs> la 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 la. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Claire. Sorry. It's just one of those colours that just, it's, it, you know, it is ochre, which I like as a colour. I think it's a nice colour, nice hue. But um, it's a particularly sort of yellowy one. Which is reminiscent of unpleasant things. Caca melon. I've seen too much. I've seen too much. There we go. And so we go up, move up to the darker red now. And I am using far too much, really, because you don't need that much. But there we go. I've got quite a wet. Uh, 
It's still very quiet. I've not heard any cries for help. I might have to, when I've finished this, I'll poke my head around the corner and if I can carry on and put things inside it, that's what I'll do next. Once I have got this rusty stuff done. Make those eyes a bit darker, but a bit more. There you go. Stands out a bit more now. Ooh. Hey, I think I'm there. Oh, well done. Just make sure all the edges are done. I did miss a bit. Yeah, I learned French in school as well, Fifi. It was um, the, the normal, obviously, because I'm Welsh, it would be Welsh. Uh, we had the option to take French or Welsh a bit later on. Um, some were offered uh, German. I love mm. languages. Cool down a bit mm -hmm. before I put the wax on, otherwise, my wax will melt. Let me clear up my mess. I've just squeezed out an hour, Rachel, so I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm going to finish this. And have a look and see how the land lies. Get more of this dark brown. Oh, da, da, da. Ooh. It really stand out. Oh, that's lovely. That was my intention, so I'm going to gloss. I want it glossy. Oh, nice. Oh, thank you, Fifi. Um, oh, they're still a bit hot for me to 
them on the coal glass mat and that should help. Right. What do I do? Do I just paint it the rest red? Or black? I don't know, no. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Thank you. There we go, so we'll... We'll um, put a little... A little bit... Gold wax, Which I think. Which is a nice name, isn't it? Uh... Yeah, I think so, Angela. I think it's going to be black. You know, pick up this. Um, it doesn't look so cool up close. Right, so hopefully you can see that, but that's the rust effects. Paint oh, on. Fab. It is. It's a really good, really good, quick, easy way of just having everything to hand that you need to make rust you know i mean we can all grab the paints but it's nice having it in a little a little doobry what's that right so i've done that now i'm gonna see if i can fill it or not i might not be able to fill it today but i'm gonna go and have a little look because obviously we've got all of these little clocks parts and things that we can we can pop in here and make it really cool and I'd really like to do that but I need to see if my ferret's behaving so bear with me I shall return okay oh I think well, I'm going to leave them to last to stick on. Do I paint it black? I think so. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. I don't know if I've got any gloves. Glossy medium, yeah. Think, think, think. Oh, well, I've got good news. Are they out for count? Yeah, yeah. My little ferret is fast asleep. Oh. So I can finish my project off. Oh. Right. Let's get that tissue out of the way. Now. Oh, so this is a bit of gloss medium. I need a bit more. There you go. A stick, a stick, stick, stick. <laughs> Give me okay. Well, there's so many interesting little bits on this grey board sheet. Pokemon. I don't think I've got much left of the one I had when um Belinda did a class with it. Mm. That's very nice. Didn't have a lot left. There's so many elements. Mm. 
I did say I was going to put something on you, but I've changed my mind. <laughs> I'm going to put some structure on there and or texture, but I didn't get around. Oh no! Oh, oh got an angry face. Oh dear. But angry, we've got shock, we've got love, and we've got like. So we're covering, we're covering. <laughs> that sounds fun. like a good film. Isn't a good film supposed to do all that? The only thing we haven't got is tears, isn't it? So oh, we don't really do on them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm I'm at that stage in my life where it doesn't take much. Oh, dear. we did. Um... I was crying when we first started because we were dancing, and that did tick on me. <laughs> that was Can't help tears it. of merriment, that was. Cannot help it. Oh, I'm so glad she's gone to sleep. That's brilliant. She'll be in a good mood when I've finished this and I've got to entertain her. What's the plans for that this afternoon? Um, probably puzzle making. Puzzle making and singing songs from Encanto at the moment. So she's very into that. Mm -hmm. And so I'm riding her bike around the, the house. So she's like... She's like the twins from The Shining, except there's only one of her. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we can out with two, so. <laughs> she is, is. She is. Oh, crikey. She's such a character. She is indeed. Mm. Right. Done that. That's lovely. Now, let me get me. That's it. That way is. I wonder. Oh, I just don't know how I am going to put this together. Rachel, you messy girl, put your paints away. Oh, shame on me. I know I'm going to do this and end up putting some um, some texture on it. The only thing about these um, these cheap sort of you know boxes and things, they've got like um, you can see the wood grain in them. Mm. So unless you're going to stain it, it's not good for painting. Oh, I did some wood grain in the other day. I actually put wood grain on something the other day with um, the little wood grain in tool that you do. Ah, uh, yes. How new I, can't, I can't. I can't show anybody it yet because it's a secret, super secret, secret. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got a few of those. As opposed to a usual secret, it's a super secret, 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 secret. Oh, man, that's a lot of secrets. Yeah. That's my project for this afternoon is my, one, of, one of the secrets. Oh, you're doing the secret as well. I am. Is it a secret? I've just done secret. Um. Yeah, I think so. Oh, super secret, secret. Yeah, so we can't we can't say anything. No, <laughs> they will find out one day. You will find if you find out soon. You oh, well, I hope so. About the super secret, secret. Yes, and hopefully we'll we'll have a guest after oh, that super super secret secret guest. Oh. Yeah, you'll have to join us for that one, Rachel. Mm. What, the super secret? So hard. <laughs> <laughs> what have I got myself into? Yeah, I know, isn't it? Oh, 
I might if I'm about. If I'm about like an orange. No, not about like an orange. Around like an orange. <laughs> oh dear me. It's that song. Is it's stuck in your head and your words have escaped. I know. It's, it's, the problem is it's taken too much of my brain. And there's there's not enough. There's not, there's not enough to be to be using bits on things like that. Hi, Danka. <laughs> yes, it's me and my secrets. Hi, Danka. <laughs> Right, so I think I'm gonna stop there with the cogs, but I want a word. Oh, and I'll have some hands as well. Hands. Oh, what word should I have? Believe. Yeah, believe is always a nice. Nice word, and there's still loads of bits left. Oh no, I believe it might not be so clever actually because there's a dot on the eye. Oh, come on, Rachel, you can use it, you're a professional. Wing it, <laughs> yeah, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it, I can make it work. Right, there's my little dot from the eye, which I mustn't lose. Get this lot out of the way. Let me poke my bits out that I need out. Um, when will the secret be told? Which secret, 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 secret? <laughs> my, my super secret secret um, should be told with within a week, I would have thought. Fingers crossed. Yeah, yeah, fingers crossed. But within within a week, I would have thought the super secret secret. <laughs> the super secret will be out. And then there's another secret as well, actually, that it should be out around the same time. Oh, my goodness. It's Ooh. secret. Thing, which is, you know, I mean, for somebody with a lisp like myself, that's it's no laughing matter, all these secrets. It's... God, I'm going to drown here if I'm not careful. But, um, yeah, super secrets. Uh, that's what we, what we call, when we have our um, granddaughter when her mum's working, we quite often have her on a Saturday, not, not normally a Sunday. But um, she's had to go into work today. But what we normally do on Saturday Astrid, my granddaughter, calls Saturdays super, super secret surprise Saturdays because mm -hmm. we try and do something interesting with her, which generally involves St. Fagans, but, you know. You know, I love that museum. Yeah, it's a brilliant place. And she, I think she thinks that that is secret, super, oh, secret, super surprise Saturday. But, uh, no, it's lovely. Oh, I know what I forgot. What did you forget? Hi, Joan. We need we need um we need a ticker. A ticker. A ticker. A ticker. What's the ticker? One of them. One of those things going across the bottom. <laughs> oh, a ticker! Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, grab your discount. Oh, grab your discount. I'm just poking bits of chipboard out of other bits of chipboard at the moment. Na, 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 na. I feel a bit annoyed now that I didn't do it in black in the first place. Oh. Yeah. Well, you know, you just got to 
different things, isn't it? Different things. Horses, of course, and all you that. could tell that we don't plan these, right? <laughs> we always change think. our mind. They are. They're just off the off the hoof. Yeah, I think it's because because we belong to DTs and things. It's you know we have to plan those ahead, and mm. you know so there's a little extra pressure. This right. is kind of like um, it's kind of like I don't know our own little crafting, but we just yeah letting everybody else join in with us. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm you know I mean I'm just doing what I would do. On my own. Yeah. I can't, oh, I've got to make my son a birthday card later. That's what i got to do. Oh. Hi, girl. I mean, mine's not everybody's cup of tea. It's a little, um, little dif different, and I'm kind of thinking about leaving the colour. Oh, so you have that pattern inside. Maybe paint paint it red. No. What are you, worm? It's gonna be sticking in your head for ages. Oh, it's driving me up the wall. No, I think I'm gonna use that. We shouldn't have danced, should we? And then it might not have sunk in oh, somewhere. No, but the dance was just was just nice. Right. So basically for those who, who didn't know when we when we first um went live, Rachel and I were doing this to the music. We practiced our <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to stick him there. Let's stick him there. And then when I varnish it, I won't use the mat. I'll probably use the glaze. It's the song um, when I was, uh, for my birthday, Olga made the intro to the Mad Arches. Um, the word, the intro to the live streams. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> and Rachel's off again. Ooh, I like this. Yes, I think I'm going to stick. My Alice, so uh, I've got a few other little little bitsies and bobsies. But oh now where did I put my word? Oh I put it there. Well done. Oh I really shouldn't touch my face with these arms. Oh, what else have we got? Are you a bit mucky then? Oh, I'm stinking. <laughs> I am absolutely stinking, filthy, dirty, but I'm having a nice time, so we don't mind. No, I don't think a Christmas ball ball is going to be good. Oh, I might put me. Actually. Yes, I think I'm going to put those there like that. Yes, 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 yes. Happy days. Right. Those, those are the um, from the Stamperia Alice molds. I'm just going to give these little pieces a quick me. Oh, don't worry about being late. Maybe say there's no rush for this one. No. Oh, it'll be. It'll stay oh. on the group anyway. 
Oh, Sarah, well, if you have a look, you can see how I made the, um, I've made it 3D. So you can see how I've created that little case bit for you. Or not, if you prefer not to, obviously, but if you want to, it's there. So I'm just giving these little bits of grey board a bit of gesso. And then I'm going to put everything together. Oh, do you know what I'm going to use as well? I'm going to use some of the um, rub-on pigments. That's now I need... Oh, I've got some clear clear wax should work, shouldn't it? Yeah. That should do the job. The shinier, the better. More of a surface. Let's see how rude is that, Leanne? Mm -hmm. <sighs> <laughs> I thought I'd lost it. <laughs> <laughs> mm, no. No, it's still there. So, let's get this painted. Bit of gesso. I think I'm going to put some in here as well. Let's use that bit too. And I'm just, I'm doing loads of little bits and then I'm going to kind of put them together in a way that is pleasing to me. And um, Bob's your uncle. I love that fine little circle. Yeah, I've got a little tub of bits. I'm sure you. I'm sure you've got absolute drawfuls, Leanne. Little bits of resin casts that um, you haven't used yet. I'm. Uh, I've just got the one drawer that uh, you often see me opening on a, on a live. I I haven't got lots because I I do make a point of making something that I've already cast so that I don't get a the waste of resin because you might not ever ever make anything with it. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so I tend not to do it unless they little things you know like the shells and um little um cogs and stuff like that you know well, you stuff you know you will use for filling in things you are very good i've got several but i think that's because for some lives i do i have to make two Two of the same project. Yeah. Um it just happens like that. Oh, I'll see you Danka. Thanks for popping in. Hi Danka. I'm hoping that can stay like that. I'm gonna stick my things. The Stampery Glossy Gel. Oh, nice. I'll use that this week. Yeah, I use it for all my resin pieces. It um, really does stick. Mm. Yeah, it's good stuff. And it's quite nice as well. I used it um, on the Raven's Eye from um, oh, Sir Vagabond Aviator Collection, the Raven in there. And it just. Oh, right. And it does. It's, you know, it's got that whole sort of glossy accents thing going on. It's very good. 
Hello. I'm not sure who that is. I don't know if you'll no, you find it. Like that. <laughs> that's, the, that's the only problem with StreamYard, isn't it? You don't you don't always know. There you go. The worst bit of using paints is the cleanup. Oh, I should have kept that bit of wax, I think, to go around the edges. No, 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 don't do it, Leanne, because you're going to gloss it. What gloss have I got? I'd like a shiny gloss. I've got a matte varnish there. Hmm. You just don't know, do you? Uh. Oh, I did have the link. I don't know where it's gone. Do you still need it? Uh, the link we had for... What's that? Oh, it's Jess. Hi, Jess. <laughs> I was just looking for the link, but I don't know where it is. It's, you know, the stream yard one? Where did I put it? Look. Link for um oh invite. Do you need to do yeah. go on invite? Oh the instructions for guests. That one? I think it's the in, at the bottom, invite one. Sorry, I've got paintbrush in my mouth. Uh, nope. Mm -hmm. uh, nope. Um... <laughs> I did have a year somewhere. I've put it in. Will it be under hiring issues? How do I copy that? Right. There you go. So. Oh, oh. Right. Um, over slash Facebook. Okay. I think I have finished Jess in. Wow, well, see you, Rihanna. You too. Bye. See you next week. We'll be here. Well, yes, next week. Yes. The yes. week after will be the mushroom class, so we'll. I um, could squeeze in three quarters of an hour, maybe. Oh no! It'd be good. It'd be, you know, whoever wants to come to the mushroom class should come. It's it'll be well worth it. Mm. Well, there we are. They got ten percent off as well. Ooh. I think it. I think you can use it for for that. If not, message me and I'll make one. <laughs> right, we gonna... There we go. I'm kind of happy with that. Yeah. I'm just putting some 
clear wax on things so that I can use those chrome goofers. Let's do butterfly first. Um, brush would be good. Um, um, let's have a look at the colours. Pretty colours everywhere. Can you see me now? No, you are you are a Facebook user, Jess. Yeah, she's still a Facebook user. <laughs> we can see you anyway. <laughs> oh, thank you. We know where you live. I've done something similar before, before, but I thought I used, um, I think, liquid acrylics last time. But it, it just works just as well with just normal acrylics. It might work then, I guess, yeah. That's what I was looking for, gloss, and I still haven't found it. Gloss, gloss, gloss. Um, right, the old thing with Leo. No, that's not going to cut it now. Look at the glass. No, 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 no. no. Both my deck over, um, both my varnishes are matte. Three of them, I got three matte varnishes. Mm. <laughs> You've got to try them all, haven't you? <laughs> it's a bit like um, Pokemon, got to catch them all. You've got to do your research for the shop, it's not your fault. I wonder if that's too runny, the pouring glaze. <laughs> Mm, no, it'll probably be fine. I'm looking for a decent brush. Right, it seems to be dry. It's stuck a bit, never mind. Mm -hmm. Did want to put a bit of wax. On the edges. Before I gloss it. Because once it's done, it's done. Ooh. Yes, Peggy, we both we are both in um in the UK. Both in fact in Wales, which is a we principality. Are. We are and well if you know your Welsh history, well no, so I'm not even gonna go there. Let, let's not go there, no, no. no. <laughs> not gonna go there, I'm not gonna say anything about the Prince of Wales. Oh, I'm thinking it now. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but no, I watched. I watched a bit of it. I watched. I, I I haven't been celebrating the jubilee, but I have. I watched a little bit of it on telly last night. Um. Mm. 
Because my sister was on the phone to me and she made me. But... I'm not. I'm not that first. No, I'm not. I'm enjoying all the the extra holidays there. Absolutely. Back to work tomorrow for me. Mm. Oh, Jess has got a name. She does. I can't see her. Oh, yeah, she's got a name. Ooh. Can you see that? I've just um, used chrome powders on the. Oh, wow. To fly. So. That's really cool. Yes, I do like that. I'm going to add a little bit of wax to it as well. Like metallic wax. Right, let's put those out of the way and let's get some. Let's get waxical. Let's get waxical. Waxical. <laughs> oh my God, waxical. Yeah, I think Angela's left you one as well. What's that? A, a lazy Sunday afternoon. Oh, yeah. There we go. A little bit of uh, gold wax on there as well. Just uh, can you, are you getting it? Because my lighting is shocking. But there we go. So we will be putting that very bejeweled looking butterfly on there. Now, are you watching it, Joan? Oh, they're in the parade. Oh, lovely. Yeah, I've got a funny feeling they're going to... Our lot downstairs are probably watching the football. Is there football today, is there? Yeah, it's um, Wales against um, Ukraine for the World Cup. Oh, wow. Into the World Cup. Oh, wow. Yeah. So... Uh, I like like that, like that. And I'm gonna have to get those. I'm just putting gold wax on lots of these chipboards now. And I might get some silver on the go as well, just to have a little bit of something different. Oh, Junction's is not on till five. Yeah, we can guarantee they'll be watching some other sport, such as I don't know, um, tiddlywinks or you know, backgammon <laughs> or something. Guarantee something sporting. Absolutely. And a little brush there I'm going to pop in here. Um, right, some more of these. Let's do some silver ones as well. Those. Just a little bit. Mm, box done, I think. Oh, well done. I do like that mold. Yes. I like it. It's very nice. Like, I wasn't sure when I first saw it. But... Yeah, I think it's a, you know, because it's not really. It's really nice. I do like that. Oh, one's so cute. It is cute. Right. What was I going to do? Get that stuff. Up. I'm just working through all of these little cogs and things and giving them some metal. If I'm I, using waxes. Yes, I'm using waxes mm -hmm. on these. I use the um, the chrome powders on my butterfly, and I'm going to use chrome powders on.
this word as well because I think that'll be quite nice. I'm keeping the rest of it because it's going into a rusty box, so I don't want it to be too contrasting, really. But the butterfly and the word, I think, will be nice to have contrasting because they'll pop. Not literally, because that would be horrible. <laughs> Nobody wants a popped butterfly. Like lots of little metallic bits there. Let's do these hands. I'm not sure if I'm going to use these or not, but get them done just in case. Hi, Cynthia. Good morning. Well, good afternoon it is for us, but good morning to you. It is, it is. It's a jolly good afternoon. Let's get some wax on this. And where's my little top of the eye dot? Is there? Okay. Chrome, yeah. Oh, I just threw it on the floor. That was silly. Oh, God. The floor is. So Considering it was not fussed on going down on the floor, you do like to throw things on the floor. Oh, I know. I need. <laughs> Get some of those, like well, you know, one of one of those sticks with the with the gripper. Yes. Oh well, next time we go for lunch, there's one in my car. Oh, I need one. <laughs> yeah, there's three in my car actually. Three. Yes. That's greedy. Why you got three? Mm -hmm. I used to do the um, litter picking, so I always had spare ah. ones. In my... I always had spare ones in my car. You're a good girl. Yeah, so it is a little bit um, runny, but um, I am managing to use it. Yeah, it should it should work for that. I would have thought because it is essentially. Um, like a varnish, isn't it? So, or glaze. See so me going downstairs to look for one. Absolutely. Right, let's keep making things shiny. <gasps> Coffee. Oh, don't remind me. Oh, again. why? <laughs> Right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so pretty. There we go. That is pretty. Right. Let's get what that. colours have you used? Um, a secret. No, <laughs> I have used. In other words, you don't know. <laughs> if they're in front of me, I can look at them and I can. <laughs> so for this, I've just look at that. Oh, so nice. Um, I've used, um, oh, Cynthia coffee. Oh. Um, I've used um, Dragon Eye, which I really love, and um, King Blue. And I've sort of done a bit of a, a bit of a blend on there. So, and on the butterfly, I used Dragon Eye, King Blue, Ruby, and gecko green 
because you know if in doubt use everything you've got and you'll be all right so let's put this little lot together now um i think i want to put some lights in there you know i've got some somewhere oh and as if by magic Oh, and they work as well, so that's even better. Right, I'm going to make a hole in the back to put my lights through. So I'm going to get my... We do have lights on the website as well, if anybody is interested. Yeah, you do. Yeah. I bought brought them in for um for the workshop. There's still loads left. I don't know why that poor inlay's lid won't go on properly. I don't know what that's about. It's misbehaving. It is. So I'm just gonna pull these lights through and I I'll um, attach the battery packet to the back. I mean, you could put the battery packet in here, but I think it would be a right old faff to get it out every time you needed to redo your batteries. So I'm not going to torture myself with that. Thank you, Claire. Oh, it does look really gorgeous, doesn't it? She's got us wanting more things yet again. Oh, too many nice things in Mad Arches. They really are. Or Mad Ashes. How do you pronounce it? How do you pronounce it? Mad, well, um, I think in Welsh is Mad Ashes. Right. Mad Ach is uh, the Welsh word for mushroom. Mm. But it's easier to follow. Us who speak English to say mad arches. It definitely is easier for us to say that. Right? <laughs> it really is. Right, so I pulled all the lights through and now I'm just going to make a sort of rough estimation circle type shape to go around the edge of the inside. And I'm not too worried if you see the wires. Let's have a look at that. Let's have a look and see. Oh yes, they are working. Lovely. So I've got those in place and now I'm going to start adding all of my little Betsy Bobsies in as well. Now you do um, 3D gel, don't you? Or Leanne? Yeah. Mm. What was that? Sorry, the 3D gel. We got the stampery glossy gel. No, the. Um, do you do the Colal? Colal? Do you for Lufa gel? Oh, yeah, the one in the syringe, you mean, yeah? Yes. Yes, we do. So that's the ideal thing for these sort of things, I think, personally. I think it works a treat. Now, make sure I get my 12 in the right place. Yes, yes. I've done it. <laughs> I forgot how to do that. What did you do? Put you on solo. Oh. So I'm done. Yes, oh, right. we're all watching you now. I won't be long now. I won't be long. I, I've I shall be back in two seconds. Oh, you're going to put the kettle on, aren't you? <laughs> I thought you would. I knew you would. Oh, it's so unfair. So I'm just... 
faffing around with all those little pieces that oh no, that's not gonna work like that so I'm gonna just I'm gonna cut that off because that's fine by me I can't believe my arm's going to get a nice cup of something hot Oh, there we go. Let's have a big and there. And we'll have a little and. Well, I'm not too worried about any mess because I've got loads of cogs left to stick on and put in places so we can cover up anything that's a bit. I think Terry's live now as well. Oh my goodness, well, we won't no. be on Nearly done. Because I'm quite happily go and catch a bit of Miss Terry. While we have our cuppa. Mm, exactly. <laughs> so, oh, come on now. Behave. Sticky them in fingers so just getting all of those little cogs and things yeah five oh right so we got another hour for terry oh we're okay oh sure. i will be done soon so oh and she's only host and she said come on now this little doofer of doofiness i quite like i'm gonna pop that there, like that, I think. Because I just quite like it. And then I want... Oh, let's put these two in place before we start. Is that off the drink me mould? Um, yes, it's the first one, yeah, yeah. Oh no, rabbit, you cannot be <laughs> have me rabbit floating. <laughs> <laughs> no, Rachel, that's not gonna work, right? We've got that there, that there. I know I said about the restock of uh, Stamperia stuff. Well, that one particular mould is the one that I can't keep in. <laughs> so I don't know if there's one there now. It's a brilliant mould. Yeah. It's an absolutely brilliant mould. Now, mm, where to stick that last question? Let me you stand up. Thank you. Oh no, I think that would be quite good actually inside there. <laughs> now where's my little dot for me eye that I did? Oh man, where did I put it? Can't find my dot. Oh, I see it. Cheeky. Cheeky. I'm going to be washing my hands for about 20 minutes after this. Yeah, mine's all full. There we are. Oh, well, I'm out of stock of that one, but I believe there's some coming in this week. Well, it's. I can't recommend it enough. It's a very good one. It's well worth. Let's put that there. Hi, Annette. I presume that's Jess. Thanks, Jess. She's still incognito. You can see her on Facebook, but you can't see her on the um, do that. On the stream yard. That's the one. 
Oh no, it's Tracy. Thank you, no. Tracy. Yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking. Right. I think I am. Oh no. Hang on. Sorry. My little paintbrush off the Artelia molds that I just really like chucking in things. <laughs> right. Do I want more? Let me have a little. No, I don't want more. Oh, but no, I don't want that there either. No, let go now, Rachel. Let it go. Right. So. There we go. Now, I think the only thing I think that I might actually put on here is I might put some mushrooms in because, you know. But, um, yes, it's um, an Alice alarm clock. I don't know. Where's the best? I don't know. Where's best for you to see it? But... Uh, Oh, hi, Patricia. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This Annette. might answer your question. Oh, According to Wikipedia, <laughs> uh, <laughs> cyclone on record worldwide in terms of oh, speed in the second most all I can do is apologize. In terms of pressure, the <laughs> Alexa, in 1979. Alexa, stop. <laughs> she just butts in when she feels like it. I mean, did anybody hear me mention her name? I don't think I did. <laughs> but she just likes to butt in. So there you go. So that's the Lady Vagabond grey board um, clock made into a 3D doofa. So um, happy days. Right, I'm going to go now before Alexa. <laughs> oh. No, don't say the name, Rachel. Don't say the name. Yes, we'll start it off again. <laughs> I know. Oh, but yes, I got a little. I'll take. I'll take some pictures and put them on the um, on the group. Yeah, I can't believe I've actually kind of finished mine. I'll just and carry on with a bit of white inside of them. We've done very well for us. I mean, yes. it's two hours and we've got two finished projects. Yes. That's, that's quite impressive, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I wonder if we can do that again sometime. Mm. But, um, Indeed. Oh, happy days. Right. Bye-bye then. Thank you very much for having me. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Rachel. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you, everybody. Bye.